right, everybody, come on in, come on in. Thank you all so much for being here. For anybody new here, hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. I'd like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. We're making something really simple today. I've got some leftovers. I'm gonna throw them together and make spaghetti. <laughs> But of course, I'm going to make a sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free version. That's why I am your substitute teacher. So if you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds and you know who you are, you are most welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. I love cooking for you. So let's start with TikTok since y'all don't stop. We've got Mara, we've got Gold, we've got Mary, Troy, Tamika, Lalitha, uh, Maika, uh, Turtle, Rebecca, Abella, Hood, and Kathy. And then on Instagram, we've got Daniel. Thank you all so much for being here. As always, on TikTok and on Instagram, I'll try and bring you guys into the view, the full view. However, if you want to see everything, you can come on over to Teachable Moments with Maggie. You can find out where to find me. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter have the full view, and you can um, you can see there. And uh, let's go ahead and clean the counter and get started. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I didn't take attendance over here. We got Jurgen in the house. Jurgen always coming through. Good evening in Ger Germany. How are you today? We got Cooking with Sir Senior says, come in at the like button. Yes, thank you all for liking the live stream. I already see the likes. I already see the hearts. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. We got Bonnie saying, good afternoon, Maggie. Absolutely. So good to see you. We've got Nansiba. My first time seeing you here. Welcome. Uh, is it Mojave? Wonderful to have you and welcome. We got the Watcher Supreme. I'm telling you, Jurgen is my um, greedy gong gong across the pond and the Watcher Supreme, I'm assuming you're American because you are always coming in with a plate and I love it. I love cooking for y'all. It's the highlight of my day, believe me. Actually, I got good news today. I got a call from the school, but it was a good call. <laughs> y'all already know. All right, so let's clean the counters. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's doing well. All right. Let's clean our hands and get our uniform on. <laughs> non uh, Make sure I'm pronouncing it right. Please cor correct my pronunciation if it's wrong. Uh, names are important to me. That's the sweetest sound for anyone is their own name. Hello, TMR. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you, Kaylee. Yes, amen and amen. Let me clean my hands. All right, so if you all were with me yesterday, we made um, a really scrumptious, like, it was a sausage and mushroom pasta. Y'all, that thing was so good. But if you were with me yesterday, we saved some of the meatballs. So I've got some extra meatballs. I've got some jar of pasta sauce and I've got some leftover zoodles. So someone had asked me to kind of put together more recipes just with leftovers. Um, and I appreciate that. I don't know, I'm a little self-conscious because I feel like I should always give you all something like new and amazing, but I'm just like y'all. Sometimes we just read the fridge and we put together what we put together. Hello, Damone. Thank you so much for being here. So we're just going to throw something together. Lalitha says, what's on the menu today? Spaghetti and meatballs, Maggie way. All right, let me get my uniform on. All right, you already know about the Maggie merch. You can find me on only pans because you'll never find me on only fans let me make sure my do not disturb is on because y'all already know i'll get a phone call or whatnot so maggie merch link is in the link tree you can go to teachable moments with maggie.com to find out where everything is you can get different colors you can get different sizes you can customize them for free aprons are about twenty dollars we've got kid sizes standard and long and this is a standard size. You all can see it's like, you know, a little bit, well, a lot. And it's got pockets in it, all right? So let us get started. Lalithia is ready for her place. You got her hand up. 
Oh my gosh, y'all come through greedy. I love it. I love cooking for y'all. Hello, Norm88. Uh, we got Celine in the house. She says, where is the cruise going in November? All right, good question. Uh, so we do have a cruise. So if you all want to come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with Maggie. Okay, and lead and AV. We're going to be cruising Royal Caribbean. I believe it's the allure of the seas from Orlando to the Bahamas. So we're going to have a couple stops in the Bahamas and then a couple days at sea. All are welcome. If you want to meet me in person, we're having a Maggie meetup cruise November 27th. I believe rooms are still available. You can check the link at teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. It's November 27th through December 1st. And one day we're going to have a meetup group photo, Q&A, um, all of that birthday party that AV is planning for me on the cruise. So if you want to meet me, AV, lead attorney, grab your passport or your birth certificate and meet us in Orlando. Okay, we'll actually <laughs> get a room first and meet us in Orlando. So the destination is the Bahamas. Don't worry if you're unable to come. I will be streaming on the cruise because I love sharing my adventures with you all. So we'll, we'll be doing some dining documentaries. I only have that one event planned and then the rest of the time you can hang out with me or you can do whatever you want. You know, I'll be dancing. And you know, I'll be eating. Clearly, I like to eat, okay? <laughs> Y'all have told me in the comments. We try to make it healthy over here. Hello, uh, Mukunu. Hopefully uh, that helps. Hello, Jason. So yeah, you all can check the link. Everything is at teachablemomentswithmaggie.com and you can get all of the information, all right? Oh, we have a stream sponsor already. This is Crow T. Shetty. Thank you so much. Let me get you up on the Struggle Stream whiteboard. Uh, the stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold coins, whatever you want to do. I appreciate you. If you all want to know how I was monetized in 90 days, I put everything into my course. Also at teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. You can take a look. There's also a free preview. So let me get you up on the Struggle Stream whiteboard she says we love you maggie oh thank you i needed that today i love you back all right let me get you up here on the whiteboard <laughs> mrs crotty i got limited space you all Oh, Celine says you love zucchini spaghetti. Yes, this is an excellent low carb substitute. Look, if you can have the full flavor and all the dough your heart desires, please have some for me. But I love gluten. It doesn't love me back. So I have a pasta substitute for you all. All right. Hello, Black Beauty. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Mm, Celine is cruising in June. Yeah, if you all live on the coast, maybe you can drive to your port, but we are flying to Orlando. Mrs. Crow T. Shetty says, running into a meeting, gotta go. Love you much, love you back. All right, you all, so let's get our ingredients out. No video to watch today. This is me just throwing some ingredients together. I'm literally cooking what I would eat for myself um, and just sharing it with you all. I know we have people at different levels of cooking, so I just love sharing with uh, everyone. All right, so let's start with the meatballs. Jurgen is here. Shout out to the meatitarians. If you're vegan, yesterday was your day before the meatballs. All right. For my Italian seasoning. I know I have it here, or did I use it all? Okay. All right, class. So again, just raiding the fridge. Let's go through what we have. Hello, Das Pan. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Oh yeah, you live in New England? Absolutely. I've done a New England Canada cruise. It was nice. The lobster and all that good stuff. Beautiful scenery. Enjoy. 
Yeah, enjoy your time off. All right, you all, so we have some meatballs left over from yesterday. If you all were with me, we pan seared these. These came from Publix, so they were already seasoned meatballs, and then we cooked them. The way that I cooked them, they came uh, raw, and I literally just put four sides down in the pan, like two to three minutes per side, so we could get that nice crustacean going on. Is that a word? I don't know, it is now. So these are cooked through, so we're going to use these as our meatballs, and then, what I packed from yesterday, I know it looks crazy, but we had some fresh zoodles. This is literally just zucchini. I even have a spiralizer, y'all. I haven't even taken it out of the box. Maybe one day I should do that. You can buy zucchini noodles. You can buy squash noodles. You can buy, um, what's the other one? Butternut squash, there's several of them and they literally just make them into like little shoestrings so you can cook them down just like pasta. Now the thing is you don't have to cook it long at all. Really you just wanna heat it up or at least for me because I still like for it to have a little bit of a little al dente, a little crunch to it. If you like it soft, especially if you're cooking for kids then you can cook it longer. This is what we had left over from yesterday. I know it looks crazy, but it was good. It was a mushroom cream sauce with the meatballs. So that's a good little hack when you all are cooking. Um, the pack of meatballs that I had was like nine, I believe. I tasted one as a kitchen snack, y'all already know. And then I think we cooked four with our mushroom sauce and then I saved four because I knew I wanted to have leftovers today. And then as far as pasta sauce, you can get any pasta sauce that works for you. This is ragu. The reason I got it, you all can see here, no sugar added. Um, pasta sauce, ketchups, a lot of tomato-based uh, products, which I love, are hidden culprits for extra sugar. Hello, Dan Hilliard, and hello, Bad. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so I tried to look for ingredients or like pasta sauces that don't have sugar added. Sometimes we consume so much sugar and you're like, but I don't eat sweets, but there's extra sugar that you don't need. So I try to buy the sauces that don't have sugar added. This one, the flavor is good. It's not great. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. My favorite is Bertoli. I love that one. I think it's just got a really good, like slow simmered flavor, but it's okay. If you buy a jar of pasta, pasta sauce, or even if you have tomato sauce, you can doctor it up. And I'm gonna show you all what you can do. I've got some Italian seasoning. I just got this from the, um, the spice rack. This is something that you can keep in your kitchen if you don't have Italian seasoning, oregano. Um, I have some fresh basil. We'll see if we can get some of this out. Y'all know how I am in these herbs, bad. Um, you can put fresh herbs is best. If you don't have fresh, you can use the jar. And then also, if you can have dairy, then use your regular Parmesan, uh, Parmesan Romano, your craft in the green. You can sprinkle that in. Not only can you sprinkle this on top, you can actually put this in the sauce when it simmers. So it gives you a little bit more of that savory, salty umami. I don't have to worry about salt on my plan. I do have to worry about sugar. So I would use that. However, with me being dairy free, I'm using this as a substitute. So this is Pecorino Romano, Locatelli. So this is Italian, but you can get it in your grocery store. A lot of the cheeses that I use you all, you're gonna find in your grocery store towards the front where the deli is, okay? Not in the back where the Kraft cheese is. But you can see this gives you that dry, salty Parmesan substitute. But the difference is this is made from sheep's milk and not cow dairy, all right? So that's why I'm able to use this one, sheep's milk. All right, so these are the ingredients. We're gonna make a lunch something yummy that I want to eat, hopefully you all would want to eat, and just, you know, have a chat. So I'll drop the link in case anyone wants to talk, but that's it. Sometimes it's fancy, sometimes it's simple, y'all. It don't take a lot, but, you know, a home-cooked meal goes a long way, all right? So let us, we don't have to chop. I'll cut into the basil a little bit, and we'll use a garnish. So let's just get our cooktop out. And literally, we're just going to uh, warm the sauce. I'm gonna put the meatballs in the sauce so that they get that uh, tomato flavor. And then we'll do a pan sear of the noodles really quick. Let me know, do you all put your noodles in the sauce and stir it all together kind of like a, a spaghetti, spaghettios? Or do you do your noodles and then you put the sauce on top like a layer, all right? So that's what's for lunch today. What's everybody eating? Hopefully you have someone cooking for you. 
All right. Let's get our cooktop and we need a stove top. Y'all, I only run the dishwasher when it's full, so I'm gonna have to go to tier two of pot and then I'll run it later today before dinner. Yes, I use my oven for storage. All right, so I just have a little small sauce pot here. It's just me, I'm just cooking for one. So you all can, you know, make this bigger or larger. I'm trying to only cook less portions, all right? So we're gonna turn this down and we're gonna go in with the ragu. So again, this is ragu, simply eight simple ingredients, okay? But for me, no sugar added. A lot of times, you know, and I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to have, um, borderline blood pressure and elevated cholesterol. And all of that is normal now because I've completely changed the way I eat, drink, and snack. Is that enough? Feeling greedy. But, um, you know, sometimes you go get your test results and it's like, you know, cut back on the sugar and you're like, but I don't eat sugar, but a lot of stuff has extra sugar in it. Hello, Jason. Thank you so much for being here. Lalitha O'Brien says, I respect your hustle. I love watching you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, this is really just me kind of every day, but I appreciate the compliment. Thank you kindly. Um, but yeah, my, my channel started, oh, we're already percolating. My channel started because um, I would just cook by myself and then post the finished product and people would say, did you make that? Yeah, I made that. So I just turn on the, the camera and bring y'all in here with me. Hello, Rachel. All right, so this sauce by itself is okay. If you have a really good sauce, just put your meatballs in there, but I'm gonna doctor it up a little bit taste as you go. That's what my mom said. Okay. As long as it's not raw, don't ever sell, um, serve anybody something you haven't tasted. All right. So I'm just going to give, while it's percolating, I'm just going to give the, the sauce a little bit of a taste, see what it needs. Ooh, it's good. It's a little on the sweet side, but you know, tomatoes have a natural sweetness. If we had some mushrooms left over, you could put some mushroom in here, but I've got the zucchini. Let me turn this down so it doesn't pop me. All right, I am gonna add some Italian seasoning. All of this is optional, okay? But I wanna doctor it up. Woo! Just we get a little bit of that semi-authentic flavor. All right, so let's stir it up. And then we're gonna put some of that, uh, it could be Parmesan, but for me, it's gonna be Pecorino Romano. And I can smell, you know, this Italian seasoning, it's got oregano, basil, all kind of good stuff in it, all right? So, yeah. And then, cause I want a little cheese in there, the saltiness just gives it a little savory. And then we'll sprinkle some as a garnish. Hello, Drew Biz. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Coco Rose says, my fiance is making spring rolls for lunch, so you get to sit back and watch you. All right, lucky girl. What's going in the spring rolls? That sounds yummy. We've done that before, I think. Yeah, we have rice paper. Maybe we should try that, y'all. I have rice paper and I have that shredded cabbage. Maybe we should do some air fried spring rolls. All right, I just put some Parmesan, could be Parmesan for you, Pecorino Romano for me. Put a little cheese in there. This is also good if you all ever buy the Parmesan on the block. I'll show you all. You can cut off the rind. Y'all know when you get the one on the cheese wheel. I'll show you. This is another sheep's cheese that I use. Manchego is a Spanish cheese, and y'all can see it comes on the cheese wheel. So it's got that little coating on the outside, which is edible, but a lot of people don't eat it. So you can cut that off, and then you can put it in your sauce as it's simmering, and it gives you kind of that cheesy, salty flavor. Manchego is another sheep's milk cheese. So this is a dry, salty cheese, great for your cheese board or fruit or crackers or whatnot. All right, so I just love giving you guys substitutes. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. So let's give this a taste. 
And again, even if you just have like plain dollar store tomato sauce, a little Italian seasoning and a little bit of sprinkled cheese, you can have a, oh, I'm making a mess. You can have a wonderful date at home. Now I'm not gonna do garlic bread and all of that, but if you can have a nice crusty garlic bread, if I were cooking for the boys, I absolutely would, but mine is gonna be low carb. All right. Yes. All right. Now I'm going to put my meatballs in here and really they're already cooked. I just want to get them coated. I'm going to put the top on here and turn the temperature up a little bit and just kind of move them around really just to warm them up because they're already cooked, but we want that saucy flavor all the way through. So when you bite down into the meatball, y'all know what it is. <laughs> All right, let's clean as we go. Finally run the dishwasher. Okay, so I'm gonna use all of our zoodles from yesterday. Y'all can see it's percolating. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. I'm sorry, y'all. I get it talking to you all the time. It's not gonna change. <laughs> Coco says it's a surprise every time he makes them. Ooh, that sounds yummy. You all can make spring rolls sweet or savory. So if you like them savory, you can get, let me show you all while this is just doing its thing. if I have enough sauce in there but you know you can kind of overdo it like a little goes a long way it doesn't look like a lot but hopefully it's enough all right so let me show you all a quick thing for spring rolls so you want to start with rice paper I have both variations. So this is the spring roll wrappers. You all have seen me use these before. You can get them in clear, or you can also get them in brown rice in your grocery store um, Asian food section. And we've made these many times before. They come out really stiff like this, um, but this is a great way. I mean, if you're doing egg rolls, those have dough in them, but you can do these. You're just gonna wet them and then they become bendable. And then an easy way to make just looking at the picture, you know, something like, you can make a vegetarian version. Spring rolls, if you like these with your Asian cuisine, you can cut up carrot and cabbage if you want to, or you all know my little hack. I'm gonna turn those meatballs around. Get coleslaw from the produce section, coleslaw without the, um, the dressing on it. It's already got the cut up cabbage and whatnot. So if you wanted it cold, you could just roll that up at, at, as a uh, cold spring wrap. You could do uh, ground like pork, if you eat pork or chicken, um, whatever meat you like. Shrimp looks really pretty wrapped in there because it's see-through when you go through it. Um, you could do like a, like a veggie one with sliced avocado and make it really nice. You can put, you can make a peanut sauce on the side. Condiments are a huge culprit for calories. Let me turn this down. I'm going to move that around. You can also do... This is an option. G. Hughes makes a sugar-free dipping sauce. This is a sweet chili. So if you like this for egg rolls or whatnot, that's an option for you all. And then you can also make them sweet. We did them with like apple pie filling when we made our own apple, um, like fried apples. Hello, Camilla, and hello, the Zoe Louise. So you can make those as a snack, as an appetizer, or with the soup coming up on soup season. All right, y'all, since this sauce is kind of bubbling, I turned it all the way down to one so that when I take the top off, it doesn't pop me. 
I'm just gonna move my meatballs in here, make sure they're nice and coated. Cause I'm gonna pour the sauce on and we're gonna put those meatballs on there, but I just want them to get warmed all the way through. And I think, I think we're fine. So just giving you all some options with spring rolls. Aw, who do we have here? The quiet storm, so good to see you. <sighs> A moderator, um, just so supportive in the community, always watching from the clouds. He says, forgive me, Maggie, for just now becoming a member. I usually join memberships on the first. I forgot the past few months. Y'all, it is totally fine. I'm just glad that y'all are here. All right. Um, I know this sauce is good. Let's do this. We'll leave this to percolate for a little bit more. I'm going to get some fresh basil because y'all know I'm already janky with these herbs. One is going to be like a garnish and then a little bit more like a leaf and then a little bit more of a garnish. So let's get in here and try and find one that's not too ugly. But we do have Maggie memberships. Maggie memberships start at $5 a month. You all can click the link um, on YouTube where it says memberships. And uh, I give you all behind the scenes, early advance, special coupons, um, stuff that's happening with the family. So I appreciate you all support. I also have a Patreon for those ladies who are interested in elegance and etiquette. Lucy and I are teaching class. We have so much going on. The Finishing School for the Modern Woman is currently in session. Our next intake will be in January, um, but we got a lot of good stuff coming. So I'll just give you all the rundown. Again, I'm doing free, oh, I don't think I said, I'm doing free uh, 15 minute consultations. Uh, for a limited time. So if you all are interested, you can absolutely uh, book a session with me and um, I can answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. So at the end of this month, what's coming up? We got a lot for November, I'm sorry, October and December. So October 28th, we have a course, ladies or any gentlemen who want their ladies to move more gracefully. We have Sarah Badenova, a professional ballroom dancer who is gonna come teach us how to move elegantly and more feminine and gracefully and walk in heels or flats or whatever. Um, if you wanna be more S-E-X-Y, whatever, she's gonna help teach us that. That's gonna be a private class. Link is in the description uh, at Teachable Moments with Maggie. And I do have a code for you all. You can use 10% off if you're interested in that. That's Saturday the 28th. And then on Sunday the 29th, Lucy and I are gonna be hosting a holding and a hosting class for anyone who has anxiety about having people over and what do the hosts do, what do the guests do, we're gonna cover everything from A to Z. Um, the holidays are coming, um, whether it's for the holidays or any time of year, that's gonna be live, taught, private. So you can register for that with the same discount code. That's gonna be Sunday the 29th at 3 p.m. Eastern. And then November 1st through November 30th, we have a treat for you all. This will be free for everyone. We're going to have an elegance boot camp November 1 through November 30. We're going to be teaching from Vivian, um, Woman of Elegance, her book. We're going to give you all a 30 for 30. Thank you all so much for the gifts on TikTok. I appreciate the roses. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Um, so yeah, lots of good stuff coming. All right. So I think we're good with our meatballs, y'all. I'm just moving them around here. They were already cooked. Okay. So now let us, I'm gonna move this to the back. We're going to put a little bit of oil in a skillet and just bring these zoodles to temperature. They came out of the fridge, so they're cold. So I just wanna heat them up slightly, all right? So I don't wanna cook them all the way to being mushy. And while they're cooking, I'm gonna cut up this basil so we have that fresh, like grassy, like zip from basil. If you don't want it, omit. It's totally fine. All right, Ah, oh, thank you so much. All right, so let's switch this out. So it's good, it's percolating. Y'all can see our meatballs were cooked yesterday. They're nice and saucy. So I'm just gonna put this behind me to stay warm. All right. So I'm gonna put a new skillet on. I don't know if you all like your sauce all um, covered up like SpaghettiOs or separate. Hello, Sinose. Let me get some olive oil spray. So 
So I'm gonna keep the temperature low. I've got some Pam olive oil spray, coconut oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever you want, just so they don't stick. And I think I'm gonna take almost all of the zoodles. I'll save some so that I can eat this later. So I got a request to do meals with leftovers. So this is what we had from yesterday, all right? So I'm just gonna turn this up and let it kind of come to life so it's not refrigerator cold. I got a few pieces of basil here. I'm just gonna rinse these up, roll and do a quick little chop, and then we'll make our plate. And then lunch is it. All right, hello, Neek. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Greg, so good to see you. So you can buy these noodles fresh. You can also buy them frozen. If you buy them frozen, just make sure that you thaw them out because uh, there's gonna be a lot of water from the ice crystals. So you'll wanna make sure you drain them well. All right, let's give these a rinse, some fresh basil. All right. And you could season this if you want to. I think I will. Just put a little bit of Italian seasoning so we have flavor on the zoodles too and not just in the pasta sauce. And we'll do a little bit of salt and pepper. Let's do garlic salt. Completely optional, but you know you want flavor in every bite. That's where you have flavor in the meatball, flavor in the sauce, flavor in the um, in the pasta, pasta, all right? And a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. All right. All right. Let that do its thing. I'm not gonna, I could, I'll put the top on it for just a moment. I don't want it to steam and get soggy. I want my veggies to still have a little bit of bite. All right, so I have the fresh basil. And so to chop this up, I'm literally just going to lay the leaves on top of each other, kind of like a little, like that, and then just kind of roll them. And then we're just gonna chop it up, all right? I know y'all can't see, I'm looking for everyone. This might be good enough, good enough. Let me taste one. Taste all the components. If the components taste good, then your meal will taste good. One moment. A little bit more garlic salt. That wasn't elegant, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I moved fast. All right. But for temperature, we're good. So I'm gonna take that off. Just come down from the sides and bring it together. All right, let's try one more small one. Ooh. Oh, lovely. So good. Just fresh veggies, all right? Let's chop up our basil. Sure. everyone can kind of see. So I just have a little paring knife, just getting it in little strips. We're gonna use it as a garnish, and you know what, I'll use one as a leaf. We'll dust it. Oh, Hold up, y'all. Y'all know those cooking shows where everything is perfect? This is not that. All right, fresh basil is done. One moment. No idea. Does anybody else shop online? And then you're like, what is this again? Let me wash my hands anytime I touch anything from outside. And then we're ready, we're ready to assemble. 
All right. Hope this is enough. Who do we have here? We have Live, Love, Plan, and Pray. Says so just checking in. It's been a while since I've been able to catch a live. Good to see you. Christina says, hi, you're sweating. Just finish your cardio. Good for you. I was on the bike this morning. Keep your body moving, especially as we age, ladies. It's important. And at all times. I'm 47, all right? So we want to be able to move. Hello, Thunder Sight. Okay. Um, let me think. What did the thumbnail look like? Let me see if I can recreate it. In case y'all don't know, when I make my thumbnails, I'm literally just finding pictures off the internet that I think look good. And I'm like, ooh, let's see if we can do that. All right, so it looks like we have a little bit of like a, a white bowl with some meatballs and sauce and some fresh basil. All right, so let's see what we can do. You know, we all eat with our eyes first, right? The presentation is key. All right, so we're gonna start with a bowl. Oh, we got the African wolf here, says Feliz Martes. Yes, happy Tuesday to you. Christina says, looks yummy. I think so. All right, let me just wipe this down. And we're gonna start with our zoodles. The way my mom makes spaghetti, she would put the sauce and the meatball, everything in here and just stir it all together. It would be like one big dish, which is fine too. But I do like, you know, seeing the different colors, the different textures. Mom said you should have at least three different colors on your plate. All right. Probably could use some extra veggie, like some extra mushroom. Um, but you all could have tossed whatever you had in here with the zoodles. It could be peppers. It could be um, anything. You rinse this out. And it says, hello, Miss Maggie. One day I would like for you to try the dish you sent in Messenger. Remind me. Um, Y'all spam me with recipes and I love it, but just remind me which one it was because I'm sure uh, I will be happy to. All right, y'all, I'm just making a little bit of a hole here because I didn't put a whole lot of um, zoodles. So we're gonna put the sauce in there, but I want the zoodles to be able to, you know, still show as contrast. So a little bit of food styling. All right, let's get our sauce. And y'all keep spamming me recipes. What I do is often I make a mental note and if I have the ingredients, I'll make it right away. If I need to place an order, sometimes it'll take me a little bit longer. All right, um, let's do this. I want the meatballs on top. So I'm gonna take them out and pour the sauce. And then I'm gonna put the meatball, meatballs back on top. So they're not, they're kind of, you know what I'm trying to do. You can dump everything in there. That's totally fine. But what do I always tell y'all? We eat with our eyes first, especially when you're serving someone. It's nice that, you know, we all like to sit down to a plate that you're like, ooh, ah, oh, I like it. Nate said you sent me a fried egg mixture poured through a slotted spoon. I saw that, y'all. Let me show y'all what Nate sent me. Um, I had a little bit of flashback because... Um, <laughs> Long before y'all were here, uh, Leticia says, okay, Leticia says, okay. Uh, long before y'all were here, we did a recipe, sorry, that was out. It was an epic fail. It was scrambled eggs in water. And it, sent, it was just like that. And so when I saw this, I thought it was, um, I thought it was water he was boiling it in, but it wasn't, it was um, oil. So I started watching it. I didn't watch the whole thing. So I'll pull it up here while we are. Where did you send it? I know you sent it to me. I think you sent it to Maggie. All right, so Nate sent me this recipe. I'll just place here. So they're pouring eggs through a slotted spoon into hot oil. <laughs> and frying them and they bubble up. We're gonna salt it and pepper it and then flip the eggs over in the oil. I just saw that, I'm like, that's a lot of oil, but okay. Um, take them out, they look like cereal, like Rice Krispies. Take out the fried egg and then top it with 
breadcrumbs. I'll have to come up with a substitute for that. I think this is where I stopped watching. Onion, butter, and parsley, and mix it all together. And then what are we gonna make with it? Do you eat it like that? Would y'all want me to try that? Would y'all eat that? All right, let's continue on with lunch. All right, so I'm just pouring my um, pasta sauce in the center. Y'all know we're greedy, so we wanna get all of that in here. Just a little bit of food styling. I keep all the shows on and get inspiration from everywhere. I don't usually deep fry, but if y'all want me to try it, I will. All right. So this is what we have so far. I'm gonna put a little bit of Pecorino Romano on here, and then we'll put the um, meatballs on top and the fresh basil. If you can eat pasta, this could be noodles, okay? Absolutely. So we're just gonna go in, we'll put a little bit underneath and then a little bit on top, all right? So you all can see we want a little bit of that savory, salty, on our noodle and I keep calling them noodles, zoodles. All right, so far. And then let's go in with our meatballs. I'll just use the little basil knife and I'm going to place them. Uh, they're nice and juicy because, and they're still kind of hot because when I uh, put the knife in there, it just kind of went all the way through. Uh, let me see my thumbnail, hold on. I'm trying to, all right. This is what I do for kicks, y'all. I look at stuff and I'm like, can I recreate that? I know it's lame, but it makes me happy. All right. All right, four meatballs. Mm, I'm excited, y'all. I'm about to scrape this up. I really want to eat it, but I'll put it in there so it looks nice and saucy. Y'all know we are team greedy. Nothing goes to waste around here. All right, so, so far this is what we have. Just kind of spread that over. I'm already starting. Mm. God, stop licking Maggie. Hello King Flex and hello Aziz Andrew. Did you set your iPad on the hot plate? Yeah, it's an induction so I can touch it with my hands. It only, um, y'all see everything, wow. Um, it only works on certain metal. So there are certain pots that will conduct the heat. I was gonna say, I'm not a scientist. I kind of am, I got a chemistry degree, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> like my man said, I need you on snacks. <laughs> okay, so um, it's safe, but thank you for caring. I appreciate that, Leticia. Looks delicious. Okay, so let's put on a little bit of fresh basil. This is what we have so far. Focus on the snacks, y'all. <laughs> Sabrina says, that's a no for me on the eggs. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go in with the fresh basil and we're gonna put this over the meatball so we get that contrast of the green. And then we're gonna put some a little bit around. Basil is kind of strong. It's got like a grassy kind of, not minty, but a very bold flavor. It's great with really saucy stuff. And then for the end, we'll put a little bit more Parmesan and let me get one leaf of basil. I'm gonna clean everything and get ready to take our picture because, because the meatball is hot. When I put the Pecorino Romano on there, it's gonna sink into the sauce. And I want that contrast of the red sauce, the green basil and the white. Shout out to Italy. Hello, America's guest, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't really talk about it, but I have a degree in chemistry from Spelman College. I have an MBA from University of Phoenix, and I have a uh, business analyst certification from the George Washington University. But this is my happy place. All right. So let's find a nice little leaf. I think this one will look good in there for a little garnish. So let's just rinse this off really quick. So we're gonna put that in there, move that a little bit. All right, 
So let's move everything, get ready to take our picture, and then lunch is served. Oh, y'all can't see. I'm sorry. All right. So we're going to put the Parmesan. Could be Parmesan for me. Y'all know it's a uh, sheep's cheese. From uh, Could be Parmesan for you. All right. All right, just cleaning up. Mom says clean as you go. So Nate, I will do your fried egg recipe. I'm gonna wait. Some of the times when you guys send me recipes with ingredients I can't eat, I'll still make it. I'll just wait for the boys to come home from their dad. <laughs> and uh, when they do, then I'll make it and we'll let them be the guinea pigs because I try not to eat unless I'm cooking for y'all just as a way to do portion control. So I really want my food to be good because I'm actually gonna eat this. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think we're good. All right, so let's get our camera ready. Let's move our cooktop so we stay safe. Let me get a glass of water. Shout out to Alkazone. Thank you for the alkaline drops. Y'all know discount code Maggie gets you 10% off. You can turn your regular water, tea, coffee, or juices into more alkaline beverages. Um, Alkazone, I've been rocking with them for years. Okay. Ready to take the camera, just get a spoon for the cheese. I appreciate y'all being patient with me. When I'm cooking with cooking for the boys, it'll be a hand like coming through. They're just like, ah! But you know, I'm a girl. Hello, real Brian. Hello, Den Den. And hello, raw Afro. I just like things to be nice. Bon appetit. So this is what we have so far. Oh, feels nice and warm in my hand. Let's put... my OCD. All right, so we're going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on everything just so we have that contrast and we're going to get in there with the picture. All right. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Ross says you like the hair. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is me. Okay, let's get in here and take a picture class and we'll take a bite and then we will dismiss. So when you all see the pictures online and you're like, did you make that? <laughs> yes, I made that. People always ask me, don't be afraid to get up on your food, take pictures from multiple angles. So when y'all see this, y'all are like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it was leftovers, okay? You don't have to eat out and spend a lot of money. You don't have to do that. Let's take a video. All right, so today we just made a quick lunch with leftovers. We have some public season meatballs cooked in ragu simply sauce to keep it sugar free. We're using zoodles as our pasta to keep it gluten free with fresh basil and topped with pecorino romano to keep it dairy free. Enjoy. All right, everyone. Nate says, yes, the food needs to be good, but instead of breadcrumbs, you would do sausage crumbs. I actually have a substitute that could work. We've used this before. Collie Crunch is basically uh, breadcrumbs made from cauliflower. So they have a spicy version. We've used the original version. I can't remember what we made with it. And they have an Italian version. So this could be our substitute for breadcrumbs, okay? But y'all, your lunch is done. Come and get it. Hopefully everybody can see. Now I'm gonna take a bite. Live, love, plan, and pray says, that's super cool. Thanks for teaching me something new. I forgot it already, but you're welcome, sweetheart. You know, it's the mom and me. I have two kids under 10. They're always setting their iPads anywhere. Oh yeah, the induction stove. Yeah, absolutely. But still, for kitchen safety, honestly, none of this stuff. And that's your unsolicited etiquette tip, ladies. Never bring like your cell phone, your keys, your purse. None of that goes on the table. I do this because I'm cooking, but it's actually better to keep all that stuff away from the food. Hello, A-maker. Let's take a taste. All right, let's get a fork 
and a knife. Like Auntie Jenny said yesterday, small bites on screen, big bites off screen. Spaghetti is a tricky one, so you know you're supposed to kind of put your fork in there and twirl around so it's not dangling. I'm gonna taste a little bit, just the noodles and the sauce. So if you take a small portion, that way you don't have this big old mouthful of pasta, okay? You get the sauce, you get the cheesiness, you get the, y'all, you don't even miss the noodles. Sherry Page says, I love watching you. You're always looking and showing your things in another screen. Yes, I'm sorry. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch or Twitter. Just find me at teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. I'm sorry, TikTok. I'm trying, y'all. I got three different cameras going. All right. Now for our meat. Knife in the right, fork in the left index fingers okay not like a club <laughs> not up here hold them delicately pierce your food with the pong the prongs down into the food to stabilize it okay <laughs> like that let me try and like that then we'll use the knife to saw off a small amount that we can bring to our mouth neatly all right so i'm gonna put my uh fork into the meatball then we're just going to use the knife to kind of shovel on the other stuff onto the bite all right so that's what you do if you want to be formal all right try and get it all on there and then take a small elegant bite mm. <laughs> shout out to my finishing school that is not elegant y'all I'm telling you, a little bit of leftovers, a little bit of, um, let's see, we have our meatball, nice and juicy, a little bit of love, sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. All right, y'all, let's dismiss. Jurgen is ready to go, and I got a date with a plate. Mm. Mm. All right, everyone. I think we covered everything. Crews, courses, consults. Yeah. So tonight, I will stream again tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you, Melissa. I love you too. Did I post the recipe? No, nah, sweetheart. This was just leftovers. Just some fresh zoodles. Warm them up in a pan with a little olive oil. Pasta sauce of your choice. Just enough for whatever portion you're making. I did add some Italian seasoning seasoning a sprinkle and you can use parmesan if you want or a little pecorino romano a little cheesiness to the sauce throw the leftover meatballs in there until it all warms up and i really took much more time plating it maggie delivers oh thank you so much okay hello titan and hello Stuart. we are dismissing all right you all today is parent teacher conference so far so good shout out to marcus one of his teachers called me and y'all know two boys 14 16 Got a call from the school, so you already do that. <laughs> and uh, one of his teachers was like, I've got another commitment, so I won't be at the parent-teacher conference. But he said, I don't know what you all have done. Take away his cell phone. But he was like, Marcus is a different kid. He's got an A in my class. He's helping others. He's smiling. <laughs> so I probably will uh, take Marcus out for dinner tonight and uh, give him a treat, reward him for turning it around, because y'all know these teenage years, the moods and attitudes. So I will stream tonight, um, but it won't be at five o'clock because I'll be with my son and then I'll take him over to his dad because the boys live with dad. And uh, then I'll get back on later tonight. I'll figure out something. Maybe we'll cook, maybe we'll chat. But that is it. I'm usually streaming twice a day, 12 Eastern and five Eastern, but life. All right. Hello, IMG. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dismiss. Thank you, TikTok. I will see you all Tonight, class is dismissed. Thank you for the love and the hearts. I appreciate it. And Instagram, thank you all so much for being here. Class is dismissed. I'm going to eat my lunch. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, thank you all so much for being here. Class is dismissed.